Extreme Trends presents Father Finds a Purple Spot on His Back After Swimming in Clean Seawater That Leads to His Demise. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Having purple spots appear on a person's body can mean different things. It could be only a bruise or a burn. It could be a clot of blood formed just under the skin. It could be makeup. There are many things that a person can think of what it could be. In rare cases, it could also mean something serious. In fact, it was so severe that a person's life was taken away by this purple spot. But what exactly is this purple spot? Can it be contracted? How can people avoid it? This young lady now shares her experience on social media to warn others about this purple spot. Cheryl Bennett Weigel, a woman from Niceville, Florida, was at home when her parents decided to pay her a visit. They were coming down to stay there with her for about a week. During their trip in Florida, Cheryl and the rest of her family planned to spend some time out in the water near Crab Island. The weather was good and the family was together, so it was definitely a good idea. To sum it up, all seemed well. At least, that's what they thought in the beginning. She and her family loved the water. Her father, Dave Bennett, was battling cancer at that time, and as a result, his immune system was compromised. The good thing was, he had gone swimming multiple times over the years. They went right ahead with their plan and they were out in the bay on the next boat near Crab Island. Next, they went to the beach in Destin twice, splashed around Turkey Creek, swam in Boggy Bayou, and in their pool. Then on Friday, they spent time enjoying a day of jet ski riding and throwing the ball around in the water at Rocky Bayou, an inlet connecting to Choctawachi Bay. The family had a blast splashing around various bays and beaches. They left around 4 p.m. when they arrived at Cheryl's place. Dave stayed up late Friday night and watched a movie. Dave was happy and talkative. He seemed to feel okay, as he did that entire week. Her dad seemed fine until about 4 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Then, 12 hours after they were in the water, her father woke up with a fever, chills, and some cramping. Since her dad had a history with illness, Cheryl's parents thought it was best to go home to Memphis to be closer to his doctors. They were already planning to go back to Memphis anyway, so at that time it seemed like it was the most convenient option. On the way home, however, her dad's condition worsened drastically. He was suffering from severe pain in his legs, and he was rushed to the Baptist Hospital in Memphis. As they were helping Cheryl's father get changed into his hospital gown, they saw this terribly swollen purple spot on his back that was not there before. Cheryl's mom sent her a picture of it. Cheryl was horrified by what she saw. It looked like a cut, but Cheryl never saw one on her father's back, and neither did her mother. They certainly haven't seen this spot. However, the medical staff said they would not biopsy it. They gave Dave IV antibiotics. Unfortunately, the black spot had doubled in size. A new one was starting to pop up. Dave's arms were becoming more blotchy by the minute, and he was in a great deal of pain. Some of the nurses said they'd never seen anything like it. By 1 a.m., his condition worsened, and they moved him into the ICU. His heart went blank after, and they had to bring him back. Cheryl's dad had a lot of medical issues, but the heart was not one of them. They had to intubate him. His pulse went out again. Doctors said his organs were too damaged and his blood was too acidic to sustain life. Sadly, Dave was gone by Sunday afternoon. Less than 48 hours after getting out of the water, feeling great, he had lost his life, just like that. She then discovered that a week before her family visited her, a similar instance happened to a 12-year-old girl swimming in the same waters where they went. Luckily for the girl, she survived, but the same purple splots have been seen on the girl's body a couple of hours after she was taken to the hospital, according to the reports. What exactly was this purple spot? Where did it come from? And why was it that aggressive on the young girl and more so on Cheryl's father? Apparently, the reason behind Dave's demise and the purple spot was pretty simple. And as simple as it may seem, it didn't make it less painful for Cheryl and her family to know Dave is no longer with them. Lab results later confirmed that Bennett had contracted Vibrio vulnificus, which manifests into flesh-eating bacteria, ultimately leading to sepsis, according to medical experts. The purple spot came to light because Dave's tissues were already being destroyed by the bacteria. There were no bacteria warnings at the beach or park. They do post advisories for high bacteria, but that time there were none. Cheryl hopes that her dad's death and other similar incidents will finally get officials to do something to warn people. Cheryl said that she would never have taken her dad into the water if there was a bacteria advisory. 
Still, it would have been because she didn't want him to get a stomach virus, not because she thought his life would end. There are many signs and warnings that people need to follow when in the pool or on the beach. These could be common violations that can lead to more deaths in a year compared to flesh-eating bacteria. While these can help prevent accidents from happening, people can never predict and forecast the more critical factors of any beach or natural bodies of water. It's something people wouldn't really know, as it's not common as other risks that are out there in the open sea. But now, Cheryl is committed to spreading the word about this flesh-eating bacteria to be able to save others' lives as well. Thank you for watching until the end. Subscribe to our channel for more unbelievable stories and check out one of the two videos on your screen for another heartbreaking story, right here on Extreme Trends.